did it surprise you how many complications there were, Graham? I've always been very wary of Diamox, but uh, you know it's it's such a critical part of our armamentarium, especially with these very end stage glaucoma patients. And mm. you know I I have a core group of Diamox patients, so I I try to keep it to a minimum. But they're elderly patients who don't to tolerate the topicals so well, or they just uh, are on maximal topical treatment, and they're really not surgical candidates. Uh, SLT laser hasn't really uh, been able to lower their pressures, so I I've got them on uh, low dose Diamox. Uh, so as you mentioned, you, you can have doses of uh, 125 BD. Uh, I've even had patients on uh, half that, the 62.5 mm. quarter tablet uh, BD, and it, it just seems to be just enough Diamox to get their pressures down to a reasonable level. And I, I suppose, if, particularly if they're elderly patients, you, you're just trying to get them to the end of their lifespan. Uh, so hopefully, not not too many years on the Diamox. Uh, but yeah, generally I'm I'm very uh, cautious, very reluctant, and you know your lecture summarises all the potential side effects, and uh, you know certainly we we know about the more common, less life-threatening ones, and we we know about the severely life-threatening ones, but all, all those other ones that you highlighted uh, are also very important to know as well. But I think you're right. I mean, my, my interest in the life-threatening ones was uh, initiated a few years ago when a colleague of mine from another part of Britain rang me up and they were distraught because they'd started a patient on acetazolamide for very good reasons and the patient had developed toxic epidermal necrolysis and died. Mm. And, you know, this was just terrible. And so when I started looking into the Stevens Johnson and the toxic epidemic necrosis and the you know the fulminant hepatic necrosis and the fatal anaphylaxis, it, it made me realise that whenever we start this drug, we, we've got to be very careful because I think in ophthalmology, there are very few drugs we start that could lead to the death of a patient very quickly. Mm. I suppose steroids is one of them. You know, high dose steroids. And some of the immunosuppressive agents that we use, like uh, mycophenolate, azathioprine, you know. Mm. But I think I think acetazolamide is right up there, where, you know, there aren't that many times when what we do could kill somebody. If you enjoyed this lecture so far, please subscribe to http colon forward slash forward slash op dot vision. I hope you enjoyed this series as much as we have putting it together. Thank you.